kitchen gear can be very expensive. Building a proper collection of tools can quickly drain your hard-earned cheddar. So I got to thinking, what are a few high-impact, affordable kitchen tools that I use every day that are under 10 bucks that you can immediately buy that will hopefully change the way that you cook for the better? And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today. And also don't worry, this isn't gonna be like a QVC ad. I'm not gonna try to close you on like an avocado slicer or some stupid gadget like that. What I will do is share some of my favorite affordable tools that I believe have sort of fundamentally made me a better cook. Okay, starting here with the Kuhn Rikon peelers. These things are super dope. Uh, there's really no way to describe them other than the fact that this is easily the best peeler that I've worked with uh, in my years of cooking. Honestly, uh, it's, you know, leave it to the Swiss to create a, a marvel in engineering that is the world's greatest peeler, I believe. Uh, they're super sharp out the box. They stay sharp for a long time. They're light, nimble, and inexpensive. So if anything happens to them, it's not the end of the world. I think they're like less than $5 at like a kitchen store. I remember when I was first introduced to these pups in LA when I was working on the food truck and haven't looked back ever since. Uh, once, once you get one of these things in your hands, you'll understand what I mean, trust me. All right. On to the Ateco Offset Spatula. So this thing's great because it's a little, it's a little less intrusive than like a big clunky spatula. It's a little more finesse forward. Uh, I know there's a bunch of artesian night makers that make a bunch of cool, you know, versions of offset spatulas out there, but this one's super inexpensive, and I recommend buying it to see if you like using it before you do anything like that, but uh, or buy anything like that, but. This thing is um, pretty great. It's also the world's number one peanut butter knife uh, or butter knife. But basically smearing anything on bread, this is the truth. Uh, for smearing like purees on plates and stuff, nothing beats one of these guys. So amazing tool to cook with, amazing tool to plate with. Uh, definitely recommend picking one of these up. All right, moving down the line. Ooh, baby, we got our cake tester. <laughs> this thing is super nifty. I actually use this thing to cook fish more than I use it to test cakes, but uh, it, it works great for both. Uh, this thing's also great for testing the tenderness of vegetables. Say you have a big pot of boiling potatoes, pick up a potato, pot this thing through. You can, f you can really feel the resistance uh, of vegetables with this thing, like if you poke it through to tell if it's tender. It's funny how there are so many expensive kitchen tools that are necessary and that you do need out there, but then you have this thing, which is like not even $5. It's a little flattened paper clip and a piece of plastic and it's so useful. And like once you really, once you really master using it for all of its different like reasons, it's uh, honestly un irreplaceable, I think. So definitely recommend these. All right, next up, what do we got? Ooh, tweezers. And today I'm talking about these uh, not so fancy classic science room lab class uh, tweezers. No offset tweezers, just the basic run of the mill kinds. They come in a bunch of different sizes. I like this for the same reason I like my offset spatula and honestly a lot of other things on this table. It just, it allows you to be a, have a little bit more finesse. Uh, again, just like this is a little better than using a big clunky spatula. Sometimes these are a little better than using big tongs. Sometimes, not always. I cook with these a lot. Um, also, you can totally plate with these too if you're trying to like bump up your plating game and you wanna be have a little more precision when you're putting things on the plate. You touch less surface area of the food with these little tips of the tweezers than when you do with big tongs. So just a little less intrusive, a little less clunky. And if you're also trying to reach into a jar to get like a garnish or an ingredient or you know your, your, your tongs won't fit in or you don't wanna destroy it with a fork, these things are fantastic in a pinch. Pun intended for show. That worked out. And lastly, we have probably my favorite thing on this board. I take that back. I don't have a favorite thing. These are all great. Anyways, the these little mini rubber spoonula and rubber spatulas. Let's talk about the spoonula. It doesn't matter. Is it spoonula? Spoonula? I don't know. But uh, essentially, these little silicone spatulas are the truth. I love these things. And if I'm not mistaken, I bought these a while ago, but I think they come in a pack. So I think you get both. Don't hold me to that though. So these things are fantastic for when you wanna get every last drop of a sauce, a demi-glaze, like a nut butter. Again, if you like peanut butter, this is gonna be your best friend. This can really sort of squeegee in between the smallest nooks and crannies that it's small enough to fit into like a lot of different containers. It's kind of like my everyday stirrer uh, when I have a pot that's small enough when I can use this, I prefer to use these. Yeah, so shout out Justin Kana for putting me onto these. Justin runs a super dope little YouTube channel where he, you know, speaks to professional 
uh, cooks and chefs and, and kind of helps people build careers in that realm. So if you're interested or you fit the bill for that, be sure to peep his page, I'll link it somewhere. But yeah, these things are amazing. And I do want to touch on one more thing, making this not a five tools for under $10, but six tools. Ah. This bad boy. This thing is fantastic for a lot of different uses. It's not, so it is a plastic bench scraper. Yes, you can use it to break, you know, divide doughs, break down bread, all that good stuff. Um, but it's also fantastic for clearing off your cutting board, for scooping vegetables after a knife work project and putting them into a container. This thing is basically sort of the ultimate organizer slash cleaner that I, I definitely use every day. Not just for, you know, as a bench scraper, but other things too. You know, you could scrape off your cutting board, you could scrape off flour. These things just kind of make your work area a lot cleaner and more efficient. And I definitely recommend this. Uh, this Matfer is a one is a French brand, I believe, and I think it's a little more than ten bucks, which is silly for and sort of preposterous for a piece of plastic like this. But it is an import, so I sort of kind of don't really understand. But yeah, they have a lot of different. You know, you can find a similar item that's the same size, made of plastic, for cheaper. And I'll I'll try to find one of those for you below. So uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an extra thing, but I do recommend picking one of these up if you're not using one already. And if you consider yourself a dirty cook, this thing is going to help you out a lot. So yeah, I know this vid was a little different than my usual stuff, so I appreciate you hanging around with me, uh, bearing with me. Hopefully you found this video valuable or you learned something. And if you did learn something or plan on picking any of this stuff up, remember to like the vid and uh, if you're new here, consider subbing to the chan. But as usual, I appreciate all of y'alls who are already subbed and I will see yous next week, so ta-ta. Ta-ta, friend.